What's up everybody, Dex Gaming here, and today we're going to be talking about the Celtics. Um, the, the Suns have bought out Greg Monroe's contract and released him, and the Celtics signed him to a one-year, $5 million deal. And at first I thought Greg Monroe was going to go to the Pelicans, because the Pelicans were the first team to offer Monroe a contract, but I didn't know how much money they offered him, and it turns out they offered him a one-year, $2.5 million deal. So... Now that Greg Monroe got signed to the Celtics, not only does he get more money than what the Pelicans are offering him, he's also on a championship caliber team. Because, believe it or not, with all the injuries the Celtics have dealt with, they're still first in the Eastern Conference. The team that's right behind him, though, is the Raptors, but they are two games behind. The second place team is two games behind. And I really like this trade, I mean, not trade, the sign for Greg Monroe, because Terry Rozier, he's been a beast in the last couple games. You also just got Greg Monroe, who's amazing. And they might be trading Marcus Smart for a first-round draft pick. And Marcus Smart, in 30 minutes per game, he's put up 10 points on 35% shooting and 29%, well, 29.9%, so basically 30% from the three-point three line, and which is terrible shooting percentages on both field goal and three-point. And he has three-and-a-half rebounds per game, four and a half assists per game, one and a half steals, and half a block per game. Pretty good numbers for a six man, but he's getting 30 minutes per game. With 30 minutes, you should be putting up way better numbers than that. That is, that's just ridiculous. Um, the shooting percentage, I mean, I guess he, no, I guess those are pretty decent numbers, but I don't know about 30 minutes per game, and I just don't like Marcus Smart. He's a glorified flopper. And the signing for Greg Monroe is really tremendous for the Celtics. Because now they got Aaron Baines, who's been a great big man. He's been nice and tough for him, getting boards. They got Al Horford. Marcus Morris, I think? I don't know if it's Markeith. I think it's Marcus. And I'm pretty sure Markeith is on the Wizards. And, yeah, Greg Monroe this season, in 23 minutes per game, has put up... 11.2 points on 62.6 percent shooting percentage, eight rebounds, two and a half assists, 0.8 steals, and 0.3 blocks per game. Really good numbers, and that's only on 23 minutes per game. Whoopsies. Sorry about the horrible gameplay. Just trying to read off the stats. And in 30 minutes against the box, Greg Monroe put up 19 points, seven rebounds, four assists, and two steals. Then when he got 29 minutes against the Pacers, he had 16 points, 17 rebounds, 1 assist, 1 steal, and 1 block. So Greg Monroe has been putting up very good numbers when he gets a lot of minutes. So I don't know if it would be a good thing for the Celtics to trade Marcus Smart for a first round pick. Because Marcus Smart has been playing pretty good ball for him. But on the other hand, a first round pick would be a lot nicer. You can get a better player than Marcus Smart. Because again, he's just a glorified flopper. I know you Celtics fans are probably going to be mad that I am trashing on Marcus Smart, but that's what he is. So yeah, tell me what you guys think about the signing and if they should or should not trade for Marcus Smart. Yeah, this is Mid Dice Gaming. I'm out.